Uh, the most lopsided of all the first leg matches was the Galaxy. They absolutely destroyed Colorado. Final score was 5 0. Could have been 6 7. Like, what do you want to call it, Bob? Because uh, Jovalich scored twice. Nelson scored one. Ricky Pooge scored twice as well. The XG, 2.46 to just 0. 0.03 in that game. Yikes. Right. As the wheels have completely fallen off Colorado Rapids. Look at that number, though. Galaxy plus 130. I think a lot of that has to do with, well, it's a must win for Colorado. And two, LA Galaxy were a risky proposition away from home on the season. By far a much better away side over the course of the season. Obviously, playing at altitude brings its own challenges as well. Um, Again, I've played for this game. I'm not sure if you have any thoughts on the way that the first leg played out or what exactly has gone wrong with Chris Armis's Colorado Rapids side because they were competitive through the year, but the last month and a half hasn't been very good at all. Yeah, um, I mean, I think that he had been coaching outside of his mind, and I think that the quality of players still maybe isn't quite there. And when they're away from home, it's a completely different story. It's the home field advantage. I have a a tough time here because LA uh, galaxy should win. They are the better team and the odds on the board kind of show it the over of a goal and a half away from home minus 164. That's not something you see during playoff soccer very often, but uh, Colorado has a home field advantage, like very few others in major league soccer. They're playing at altitude and on short rest. I think they're going to be better prepared playing at home. You know, a lot, a lot of weird stuff happens at altitude. Uh, you know, you, your, your muscles don't recover or don't, don't carry oxygen as, as well. It's just enough for me to keep it off. I like the numbers we're getting, but I just wanted a little more. I, I think this should like, if the pick was a push, maybe you can get me on that side. I think Colorado is done. Like, I, I just think that this team is finished. I just, I don't know if there's nothing left in the tank. I don't know if it's just the clock has struck midnight and Colorado or, or Cinderella, because it kind of felt like a Cinderella story for the second worst team in Major League Soccer all of last season. Colorado have lost five in a row. Um, every game they're in, they're conceding goals. Like, they've gone over the total of two and a half in eight of ten. Um, I... <laughs> It's tough. Even these games, there's been games played at home and they just haven't showed up. Galaxy already beat uh, Colorado back on October 2nd in Colorado to the tune of a 3-1 final. In fact, the Galaxy lost three of their last four away games on the season. The one game they did win was against the Rapids in Colorado. Um, <laughs> I look at I look at L.A., just the way that they beat Colorado. I just don't know how they respond from it. 18-1 in in terms of shots in that game. 9 nothing in terms of shots on target in that game. The Galaxy had 13 shots inside the box and had four big chances to nil. And six, 761 completed passes to 372. Bob, that's like one-way traffic. This was pure yeah. domination by the Galaxy. And I think that Greg Vanny has this team playing some really good football at the right time of year. So at plus 130, despite a team that struggled all season long uh, away from home, and just just to let you know, this is why the number is where it is. The Galaxy away from home on the season, six wins, four draws, and seven losses. Like, they had a goal differential of plus one. That's why the number is where it is, but I'm willing to take it more so based on Colorado and their struggles. I think they're toast. So give me the galaxy on the money line at plus 130. Anything else no, to I'm, add about that? I'm, yeah, I'm going to join you on that. I'm going to live bet that with you. Um, nice. Plus 130, making a very convincing point. And I'm looking through now, and I have no other details, but I see uh, Zach Stefan and Georgie Mihalovic uh, up on the injury report. It was listed as okay. doubtful. I mean, uh, Georgie Mihalovic, that's what we saw. I mean, Omar Ramir Fernandez, that's a huge talent uh, gap in, in from the number 10 in that position. But if, uh, if Stefan's picked up a knock too, and again, injury reports aren't going to be due uh, probably any time before this match starts, so we're going to have very little information about that. But I'm seeing him uh, in a couple places as doubtful, so that that's enough to scare me off, and uh, I will take uh, Galaxy with you at plus 130 live. Brilliant. Uh, Both those games, by the way, will be played on Friday night. So Bob joining the Galaxy Party with a live pick. I know what a big fan of Greg Vanny he is. So let's back back to Greg Father heading into this one as well. 